Hi everyone, I'm Lawrence and in this video I'm going to talk about J-Star's Victory Versus on the PlayStation Vita, PS4 and PS3. So J-Star's Victory Versus seems great at first, but the more you play, the more the game loses its charm. The game is a mashup within multiple animes. The plot is ok, but it's text based only. You have some sound clips from some characters, but those are just some random sounds, not actual dialogue. And while the text tries to give charm to the plot, the campaign is disappointing. You have four campaigns. Sounds good, right? Well, the campaigns are almost the same. Each campaign follows the adventures of a team, but each team goes in the same places and has to check the same checkpoints to advance in the tournament. Basically, you get the same story, but with a slightly different flavor and some slight differences. This works out on the Vita, because it's a handheld. There's only so much you can cram in a game, but on PS4 and PS3, it's kinda disappointing. As for the gameplay, it's great, but because it becomes a repetitive button masher, it starts to lose charm. You get the same handful of arenas over and over, but at least the gameplay itself is nice. There are destructible environments, you get a heavy attack, a light attack, guard breaks, ultimate moves, jump moves and sprint moves, ultimate moves. On the Vita, the lock-on system is based on touchscreen controls and it doesn't always register, but on PS4 and PS3 the controls feel great. Also to make characters balanced, some were simplified, Goku and Vegeta for example fight only in base form. So like all mashup anime games, don't expect it to be a what if simulation. But that's alright, because the gameplay itself, the action, is really good. You can buy new characters with in-game money, you can unlock support characters, there are characters that can be used only as support characters. Also in the campaign, you sail on a ship and the more you advance, the crazier the ship becomes. And it's interesting how the map you roam in connects all shonen jump worlds. Also even if there are a lot of game modes, all of them get you in the same arenas using the same button mashing controls. This doesn't mean that the game is bad on Vita. On the contrary, on the Vita it's a decent to good game that tries to mash up characters from different shows. You can even say that it's among the better PS Vita games. But on PS4 and PS3, it's a step down. For PS4 and PS3 standards, it could have been better. It's nice that you get the Vita game ported, but treat it as a Vita port. Because this isn't a PS4 or a PS3 quality game. It feels like a handheld game, even if you play it on a big screen with upscaled graphics. So if we draw the line, the game is good on Vita. It has great gameplay that feels epic but gets repetitive and becomes a button masher pretty fast, but it's also good in spite of being very repetitive. Also the plot will get you to the same places over and over which adds to the repetitiveness, but still for a handheld, it's pretty good. But on PS4 and PS3, even if you get upscaled graphics, treat it only as a port. 